Stefan, believe it or not, I attempted my skydiving license. I've done paragliding once, but there's also hang gliding. What is the difference between all three of those? Hang gliding is a rigid structure. Uh, paragliding is uh, a, a soft, soft glider that you can fold up and put in your backpack. And, uh, and skydiving uses a different canopy where you can actually um, just jump out of a plane and, and it's designed to make you come down, where a paraglider is designed to actually glide around and fly around. For those who want to become a professional, what does it take to become a pro paraglider? It looks like so much fun. Well, firstly, if you want to, if you want to start flying yourself, the first step is probably just to go for a tandem flight to see if you like it. And once you've distinguished uh, that it's something that you like to do, you can do your basic license course, which uh, is, uh, is about 14 days in total. We've got a few training sites in and around Cape Town where we can teach you how to fly and get you up in the air fairly quickly. It's, anybody can learn how to fly. You're a seasoned expert and have traveled the world paragliding. What is your favorite spot in the world to do this? Definitely Switzerland. Anywhere, anywhere in the Alps in Switzerland, most beautiful mountains to fly around with um, the really strong thermals, big possibility for cross-country flying, definitely Switzerland. What am I going to be doing today? You're going to be doing tandem paragliding with me off Signal Hill. Um, just a few easy steps and we'll be in the air and if you're keen we can do some aerobatics at the end and see if we can get the adrenaline and juices flowing a little bit. What type of equipment goes into a tandem flight? Okay, firstly the tandem, uh, the tandem glider is it's much bigger so we've got a tandem paraglider uh, which is 42 square meters and then we've got a pilot harness which I'll be using and you'll be using a, a passenger harness, a set of spreader bars and then also a reserve parachute in case something happens or something goes wrong we have the uh, possibility of throwing the parachute that will get us safely down. With you at the home, I'm ready to get fly. The first sensation that you get is uh, a feeling of, uh, of serenity, a uh, feeling of ultimate freedom because you're actually flying around uh, safely strapped into the harness. It is actually quite gentle, you don't get that same sensation as uh, you would by st uh, standing on the edge of a building. We're lucky enough to fly next to the ocean, um, so we've got clear fresh air coming off the ocean, um, especially when we get lower down we get into the sea breeze. We can make it a little bit more adrenaline rushy type when we do aerobatics with you at the end. But uh, as I said before, the, the first, first uh, part is, is very relaxed and very chilled out. We're so blessed in South Africa to have some of the best climates. But what are the best times of day and the best weather conditions to go paragliding in? Generally speaking, in Cape Town, it could be any time of the day. Um, but anywhere else in the world, anything between 11 and 3, you actually want the warmest, warmest part of the day, the, uh, when the sun's hitting the slope to release thermals, so you can actually climb and spend some more time in the air. Um, fortunately, like you said, we've got great weather in Cape Town. We fly right through the year. We, we, we get great conditions right through um, from, from uh, early spring right through till about end of, end of April, May. Really hot, nice conditions with strong thermals. Well, it's one way to start the day. Man, that feeling up there is so amazing. The wind blowing through your skin, as you guys can hear that sound in your ears and that smell of the fresh ocean. It really is so beautiful.